सो हाय एवरीवन टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट अ न्यू मल्टी एआई एजेंट फ्रेमवर्क दैट हैज बीन रिलीज्ड बाय माइक्रोसॉफ्ट दैट इज मैजेंटिक 1 डोंट रीड इट एज मैग्नेटिक 1 बिकॉज़ मोस्ट ऑफ द ब्लॉग्स ऑन द इंटरनेट आर स्पेलिंग इट एज मैग्नेटिक 1 बट इट इज मैजेंटिक 1 so basically it is now a competitor to open ai swarm lang graph autogen creu so these are all the major packages that are already existing and now microsoft has released magentic one which is an extension of autogen so autogen if you know is one of the most popular multi ai agent framework and now magentic one is an extension to it so talking about the key features basically what they're trying to do here is to make the ai agent system easy to use and then for majorly focusing towards task execution so for that they are providing five default agents by default so once you load the package eventually you would be having a set of five agents one is the orchestrator agent which can be taken as a manager agent which will be managing the four specialized agent So these are the four default specialized agent that is a web surfer manages a web browser for navigation and interaction with web pages file surfer handles local file management coder specializes in writing and analyzing code and computer terminal provides console access for executing programs so if you can think of this environment looks crazingly good because it would cover about 80 to 90% of all your use cases it has internet access it has file access to your local system it can write code and then it has computer terminal access as well and then there is an orchestrator which would be managing all these four agents now how does this work so we will be jumping on to the first definition and then we will be talking to the image that we has been given so there are two concept that they have introduced one is a task ledger and other is a progress ledger so basically ledger is sort of a register the orchestrator start by creating or updating this ledger with key information like known facts assumption and task this is a task ledger progress at each step the orchestrator updates this ledger to check task completion monitor progress and note if any agent need reassigning so basically task is list of task and progress ledger is basically the progress on these tasks and other information stall detection if the task stall for more than 2 cycles the orchestrator revises the task ledger so if by some reason uh, the task is not getting fulfilled the sub task that it is finding out it will be reassigning it or re revising the task whatever agent coordination and then completion check so this is the image that you can see here the task starts here here the task ledger the orchestrator define what are the different sub task that would be required and then here is a progress ledger sort of a register that is getting mentioned whether the task is complete unproductive loops are there is progress is being made on a particular task etc and here is the entire loop if there is a particular task which is holding for two cycles it will again reassign it do something if progress is made task is complete task complete goes to here so here you can see that these are the four sub agents that the orchestrator would be managing out so let's look at this particular example how it might work so this is the task given attach image contains a python script run the python script against an array of strings listed below output of the script is a url containing c++ code compile run and return the sum of third and fifth integers so it is a very complex task that has been given to the orchestrator so first of all the orchestrator maintains the task ledger and then here can be the different steps that can go first of all it might go to the file surfer access the image and extract the code then go to the coder to analyze the python code execute the code using computer terminal navigate to the internet to access c++ code again writing the c++ code and executing the code and this is how the task would get complete so basically the orchestrator would be defining all the sub tasks for the four agents and then managing them out now talking about some other details performance and evaluation it is giving decent results on state of the art benchmarks that are getting used assistant bench and web arena as you can see here open source so this is free to use and it is an extension of the autogen framework as i have already told you safety measures have been taken and it supports different llms as well so not just gpt4 o but there are customizations that you can do to run different llms as well now one important question that might be coming to your mind is microsoft already had autogen 
why they want to have a different framework again, Magentic one for multi-agent orchestration. Now, uh, the one reason that I have used Autogen, so I can think is that Autogen is not intuitive enough to use. It is more for programmers and a little difficult for the newbies. So talking about the key differences, Magnetic one as already, Magentic one as already said, uh, is an extension of Autogen. Autogen is standalone framework talking about the purpose. Magentic one is a generalist multi-agent system, whereas Autogen is more of a broader framework. Talking about the agent structure, Mag Magentic one has a specialized agent structure where you have a orchestrator coming in, the four specialized agents coming in, but this is not the case in Autogen. Uh, talking about evaluation tool, Magentic one includes an Autogen bench, a dedicated evaluation tool, but this is not the case with assistant bench. And flexibility and adaptability, uh, Magentic one is more modular as mentioned. Autogen provides foundational capabilities, but may require manual adjustments. I have worked extensively with Autogen and I feel that Magentic one is a little more flexible. Model agnostics, as mentioned, it can work with both the frameworks can work with any sort of an LMM. So I hope you try out Magentic one. The Git repo link is present here. You can just type on Autogen Magentic one and you should get the Git repo as well. Thank you so much.